SV Boney continues to be a leader in budget astronomy and astrophotography with the introduction of the SV241, their own power box. There are a few other power boxes out there that cost hundreds of dollars. For example, the Pegasus Astro Pocket Power Box Advanced, which costs almost $350, but of course you get a lot more control. But the SV241 starts at around $60, and with lesser price comes lesser functionality. So I'm basically calling this a fancy USB hub with power distribution, but even then this can be super useful because it can help you consolidate a lot of your cables. And the reason I'm calling this a fancy USB hub is because unlike some of the more expensive ones that we see out there, this one doesn't let you control any of the ports individually through software. If you want to restart any of your products physically, you need to unplug it and plug it back in. You can put like a Wi-Fi power adapter that attaches to this whole thing, but if you restart that, you'll end up restarting everything, which may not be something that you want. And SV Boney hasn't told me anything, but maybe that should be an indicator to SV Boney to make one of those more expensive ones to compete with those bigger products, because I know that they have the capabilities to do that. But for anyone looking for a fancy USB hub or a beginner power box, I think this is great. And believe it or not, I actually don't have a power box that I've been using, even though I've been doing astrophotography for over a decade. I have been doing things the old fashioned way, just long cables connecting from my power wall to my computer to my cameras, etc. So my cable management is pretty horrible, but uh, I'm hoping that with this, I can get a little bit better. All right, what we have in the box is the USB hub itself. Then we have a couple of 12 volt power adapters that'll connect to your gear, maybe your mount or your camera. Mine actually came with two 12 volt cables, but the production version will come with just a single 12 volt right angle cable as seen in this photo. And then we have a USB uh, input cable. So this goes into your power box as well as, and then into your computer. But again, there's no, this is just, there's no uh, controlling this. It's just for data input. And then finally we have 12 volt car adapter here. So this is basically for, I'll put this here. So this is basically to connect to like a uh, battery pack and then into your uh, SV Boney power hub so that you can get power. But I'll probably just end up using one of my wall plugs. Uh, this can give you about, I think 12 amps uh, at a peak of 15 amps of current, but this only takes about 10 amps of power. Oh, and we also have the manual that uh, you can refer to with pretty much everything I've said here uh, if you have additional questions. So taking a closer look at the power hub itself, we have this, this is pretty sleek, it's pretty small, um, pretty lightweight as well. Um, on this side, we have four USB slots here. So we have two USB 3.1, this is for data. This may be where you wanna connect your cameras because we want that fast speed. We have a USB 2 connector here. This could be like your mount or even a guide camera. We don't need that much uh, data. We also have a couple of light indicators for five volts and 12 volts that make sure that you're getting that kind of, uh, you have that voltage coming into this and then you can provide that. And over here we have a type C cable, which is pretty interesting because type C is pretty versatile. It can give you five volts, it can give you 12 volts. You can control a lot more current. Uh, so it's interesting that they included this instead of another USB three or USB two slot here. So to like attach something like this, you may want to get a cable like this. So this is a USB C to USB A connector. So I, bought this specifically to use for, with this just to see how it would fare with my uh, camera and data controls. So, all right, going back to this, on this side, we have a couple more USB slots here. So we have two five volt out only. So this is for power only. So you'd connect like a USB do heater to this. This is perfect because that's pretty much what I use. These are not for data. So if you connect a camera to this, it will not work. And I do kind of wish that it came with a couple more data ports because I do use them up quite a bit, but I think it's okay. My ZWO cameras all have two USB hub ports anyway, so I can it, it helps there. And then here we have two 12 volt outs. So this would connect to your cameras or your mouse. And then here we have four more of the same 12 volt out. So this gives you a lot of power. So, so one thing to keep in mind is that these are all sharing the 10 amps of power that's coming out of, you know, whatever connector you're connecting it to. So, you wanna be mindful of the gear that you connect to this power box because if you're trying to call in 15 amps, things will start shutting down, things may break, things may not work. So something to keep in mind. And on this side, we have the PC in cable. So this is where the uh, this cable would go. And then this other end goes to your computer. This is uh, just a data throughput connector so, so that everything else connected to these USB ports can connect, can talk to your computer. And then this is the 12 volt in put so that you, know, you connect this to here. On the bottom, we have a couple of different mounting options. So we have a quarter inch so it can go 
pretty much uh, on any uh, quarter inch threaded screw. And then we have two M4. And I think the easiest way to mount this would be to just tape on some Velcro tape here and just slap it onto the side of your mount or side of something. Super easy, install and out and uh, uninstall. But if you wanna get fancier, you can actually, so you can get something like this. So this is just a small, uh, like a dovetail, Vixen saddle. It can go on a shoe mount, so I don't actually need this one. Uh, I bought this a while ago from SV Boney, uh, hoping to include some more accessories on my telescope, but I never ended up using this. So it's actually, uh, this is gonna come in handy. So I can install this here. All right, install it like so, and now this is ready to be mounted onto my telescope. So let's quickly install this and see what it looks like. So I have my double telescope set up here. I have my Ascar 71F and the SV Boney 550. Uh, this is still a loner, it's going back somewhere. And I have a couple of shoe mounts where I can install the SV241 into. And let's count the number of devices I have. So I have my guide camera here, one USB. We have my uh, 533MC Pro, two USB. I have the SV605, three USB. And I have one autofocuser here, the iOptron autofocuser. And I have my mount here the iOptron CEM40. And this technically has two USB connections, one for the mount control and one for the iPolar, but I usually don't keep the iPolar plugged in uh, once I'm done polar aligning. So I have a lot of things to connect. And the things that need power, physical power, 12 volt power is the mount and both of these cameras. I don't need to use too many, but I'm glad to see that I have the options. So I have the SV241 here, and I'm just going to look at this and I'm gonna connect this. I think I'm going to connect it this way here so that uh, the five volt out is going that way because I can connect my dew heaters to these as well. So let's go this way. Look at that, looks pretty professional. So I'm just going to quickly connect everything and then see what that looks like. All righty, going through this exercise, let's take a look at this monstrosity. And what I realized is that this is going to make me buy shorter cables because I have so much slack here. I tried using some uh, zip ties, some Velcro ties to put things together, but there's just, some of these are just really long. And that's because, like I said, I used to do this old fashioned way, just run them up to my computer. But I'm gonna have to consolidate, but as you can see, I have all four USB cables connected. I have the USB input, the power input. I am using the uh, car adapter connected to my Jackery. I have three of the 12 volts, three out of the six 12 volt connections. So this is going to my mount and these are going to the two cameras here. These both, these are both on. So we're going to con connect this. We're gonna turn on Nina and my mini, mini PC and see if we can connect to anything. Uh, make sure that everything still works. I have this, so. I'm probably gonna have to also think about where I place this because even though this looks cool here, I feel like it's going to, it's just like adding a whole bunch of weight from the cables. So I might just go with my Velcro option and start putting it here. I put this directly onto my mount somewhere using some Velcro tape. But again, I am still a beginner when it comes to power boxes. So if you have a better suggestion, let me know. Alrighty, I'm connected to my mini PC here. I'm gonna turn on some stuff and make sure I can connect to it. So I have Nina here. I'll also open up PHD2 for the guide cam. This one, uh, Edge HD. Oh, I need to work on my profile names. As well. I, I have a lot of cleanup to do. Okay, come back here. So I have a 53 MC Pro. There you go, that's connected. Uh, I'm just gonna set this to uh, just to zero degrees Celsius. I'll, I'll turn down the temperature. I have my electronic focuser. Let's see if that connects. There you go, focuser has connected. There you go, okay, so focuser is good. I have my mount here. Alrighty, so I had a bad USB cable, so I had to shift that out, I gotta throw that one away. But there you go, the mount connected, uh, the camera's connected. I need to turn on another Thing of Nina to make sure that the SV Boney 605 camera also connects. All right, when I look at my camera list here, so I do have the QHRI camera. I actually had to uh, shift the USB cable on there as well. So I talked about needing to buy shorter cables. It looks like I'm gonna be forced to. So I have the SV605 here. Let that connect. There we go. And I'm gonna set the cooler to uh, zero here as well. And just let it draw some power. And then here, this should connect now. There we go, okay, disconnected. Great. Yeah, everything is connected. Okay, you're gonna see black because I'm inside. It's been cloudy for weeks. And now if I look at my Nina here, this is the 
five MC Pro. There you go. It's it's doing fine. Uh, in cooler power, it's almost at zero degrees Celsius. And then this one is also going down. And then my mount control. I'm just gonna make see if it works. So I'm just gonna do a mount panel here, and I'll just try and just move it a bunch. It's hard to hear on this, but the but it is moving. You can see the RA and altitude and declination change. All right, looks like this has achieved uh, zero degrees Celsius. Looks pretty good. You know, cooler power is 54% because it's inside. Uh, this one's at 39%. It's working really well. I went and, and checked it out. The temperature looks fine. It's only been on for a few minutes. So a real test will be if I can ever get this outside, but it's been cloudy or rainy for, for weeks now. But I am hoping that I get a chance to use all of this gear before I have to at least give the SV550 back to SV Boney at some point because I really do like the dual setup here. Aside from my horrible cable management skills, I think the SV241 worked out pretty nicely. And it is going to force me to do a little bit more cable management and I think it'll also force me to buy some shorter cables. And like I said, I think this is a great starter power box, especially for anyone looking to experiment with a hub of some kind, USB and power hub all in one. And knowing SV Boney dipping their toes into other products, I'm hoping that they do create a much more versatile one, one where you can control the individual ports and maybe want to do heater controls. I know that's a really big one for a lot of the more professional astrophotographers out there because do control is pretty necessary, especially if you live in humid places like Florida or New England. So if you want to try one of these yourself, check the description for a $3 off coupon. It's not a lot, but it's about 5% off the retail price. And for my friends in Canada, this is also currently available in Telescopes Canada. And I think it's a little bit cheaper than if you're in the United States. If you have any questions about this or anything else I've ever covered, let me know below. Or if you want to join our Discord server where we have a group of growing astronomers and astrophotographers, we would love to have you. The invite link is in the description below. Until next time, cheers guys.